Today we will be looking an application called Canon Inject Smart Connect. The Smart Connect applications can be downloaded from uh, the Microsoft uh, Store. So the Smart Connect will help you to access the printer functionality very smoothly and uh, smartly. So it's just, just like app, you download from that store and it supports our printer. As soon as download, just click open. So the Smart Connect uh, main screen will open. Uh, follow the process to agreement and uh, it's end user agreement so since my printer is already connected i can i'm going to use my same printer if you want to use a new printer you can still add it so i could see my printer is added it is a canon um, 600 so first of all let me check uh, is there any update available for my printer i could see the firmware is ab available so i can easily update my firmware through uh, the smart connect so it is one of the wonderful feature that we don't need to necessary to download the firmware and update from the machine so it is easily automatic uh, the firmware gets updated through uh, online through smart connect I could say so now we could see the printer is getting updated after a few seconds we can uh, there's a message which will say that it's been updated as we could see now so now the machine is updated to the latest firmware just click the update information so that every first time it is uh, good to do that so that we know is there any uh, pending updates available because it's always a uh, have a up to date okay the main function of this is print photo print document print scan so the photo print will help us to print a nice photographs because it has some pre format so before we print photo uh, make sure we use the right paper with the right settings so here I'll be using Canon glossy paper which you could see so once uh, we feed the paper in the rear tray automatically you will be prompt with the control panel what paper settings you have to select so this is something really important to select the right paper so paper size is a4 i'm leaving like this and paper type from plain i'm gonna change glossy and we have plenty of options which is available but make sure whatever the paper you have select the right uh, type and click ok so that this paper settings will be saved for this particular job then come to the smart line click the photo and select your photo and select the paper size select the right paper type that's really important and paper quality also you want border without borderless so I'm going with the borderless which means edge to edge printing just click print so very few steps we would be able to get our print jobs nicely so we could see the printer is printing the high quality image the photos with edge to edge yeah this shows that it is uh, meant for a high graphic image printing purpose so next one we'll go look after document printing document printing is just a 5% uh, coverage normal printing so I took some PDF documents to just show you whether our machine is capable enough to print document as well so now yes we have the document printed here we could see then we'll go for scan scan uh, it it will be the procedures just follow the procedures which is been listed there so select your paper and uh, once you select the paper keep the scan originals on the document glass and uh, click the scan so that the scan image will be imported to this application so this this time the machine and uh, the device has to be connected either USB or uh, through network so the moment it scan so we could see one page is scanned still it is it will give an ability for us to add more pages even after first scanning and also it we can change the format of the scanning 
the popular format is pdf jpeg and png so there are some post scanning options which we can do as well so this is a uh, this is an additional value added uh, compared to normal scanning so now i am just trying to add one more additional page to show that uh, even the post scanning we can still add a new scan page into it so ideally i am expecting two pages to be scanned on this so the second page is scanning now we could see page number 1 and page number 2 they have the scanned and uh, kept it ready so the moment i click uh, save or before i can change the format and click save it will be saved in the in the destination where we wanted to save so this is what it is quite easy and straight forward uh, to store or to do the operations very uh, friendly manner okay so this is the main and when we move the next uh, topic is print management print management will have uh, about the device management i could say device status we could uh, see what is the consumable status what is the ink model number what is the level of the consumables also it 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 it, it will give an an idea what is the model number of it so if, if any user wants to order it they can go for order and there are main four tabs status and device information and uh, utilities under under utilities we will have the primary checkup like cleaning nozzle check and other stuff so when you click the ink uh, number it's going to give us the particular number so that uh, it will be useful for the user to order the right part uh, right inks for this uh, devices so now we could see the 43 black then then when we move to uh, the mc maintenance cartridge it shows the uh, availability and uh, device information open ui user interface this will this will give us a clear view what is the consumable status and it is a user interface basically then move to utilities utilities have a main three options which is cleaning nozzle check and align print head the cleaning will do the general cleaning as as user is always required so this is one of the main functions are available for user to use okay so hope uh, you like it that's all